This is a Toro basket roller. Uh, this one came off of a uh, Toro 3150 Triflex. And I've already removed the shaft by just knocking it out. And on this one here, is, which is uh, typical, both of the bearings fell apart and the inside race of the bearings has already come out with the shaft so now we need to remove the outside race of the bearings. I've got our normal setup. The left hand bracket is positioned so that the face of this bracket is right at the end of the slot. It's not all the way it, it, at the extreme end where it stops but it's I pushed it back a little bit so I've got some room to move it when I need to. I've got a two inch tapered insert in both brackets. The right hand bracket, the on both brackets actually the bottom leg is pointing to the right. Gonna use the one and a quarter to one and a half collet. I'm gonna insert it. If the bearing shield is still intact, you can either remove it or you you can actually because this is gonna try to prevent the lips of the collet from going all the way in if it's still in there or I usually just tap this right on through that because it's not going to put up much of much resistance uh, the lips of the collar are going to go behind this bearing you could also put them inside that groove in the race if you if you had to but I can get behind this bearing I'm going to expand it Loosen it just a little bit so I can align it. Install my puller bridge and the two long standoffs. Normally I would use both these standoffs, but I'm going to remove one of them so you can see what's going on. Tighten the bridge. Insert the jacking screw. Screw it into the forcing screw until it bottoms out, and then back off about a turn. Snug up the jacking nut. Fifteen millimeter wrench is going to go out here on the end of the jacking screw just to prevent this whole thing from twisting. Alright, the bearing is out. There is a very small seal behind that bearing, and usually it's the bore that the seal is pressed into 
is usually worn out by the time most people rebuild these and you cannot put the new seal back in there so it it may be a good option to uh, just use seal bearings and forego that inner seal and not even grease these things uh, the bearings that you'll get from Toro are sealed only on the outside and the inside is is meant to work with that inner seal so when you grease it you're actually greasing the bearing but um, using a bearing that's sealed on both sides if that inner seal is not installed is probably a good option uh, I'm gonna flip the roller in for end and this time <clears throat> I'm gonna use the R&R puller to remove the other bearing This is R and R puller collet number R226. Now it doesn't collapse as as much as this collet does. So it you have it doesn't want to go through that bearing unless you force it through there is not a big deal. I got the lips of the collet behind that bearing race. I'm going to expand it. Install the standoffs, tighten the puller bridge. Now I've got the coarse threaded jacking nut, which works with the R and R pullers. That's it for the removal.